Hi guys, it's Lucien and Felix from Tennis Brothers and today we're going to be doing a Q&A. You have sent us questions on a Instagram like questionnaire thing. But today we're going to be answering them and let's get into it. The first question is from Bish underscore the underscore helicopter. And they asked, how was it in the beginning when you started a channel? So I assume that's a YouTube channel um, from the question. Yeah, so I think... We started off and it was just really light-hearted, um, you know, we didn't actually upload to a certain schedule, we just uploaded whenever we want, so we could just upload once a month, once a day, once a week, anything we wanted to. And, and I think some people get too excited at the start, which is good, but it also isn't good, because it, it, if some people have to have, like, we started off with a phone, which wasn't even the best phone, it was pretty bad quality. That's a camera. Yeah. yeah, but some people buy like expensive cameras to start off and like tripods and everything, but then after a month they're like, okay, I'm bored. So yes, you have sir. to, I think you have to start off slow. Second question is from Ewan.Retilak. Just by the way, guys, if you pronounce any of these names wrong, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm on Instagram, some of the names are quite hard to pronounce. So the second question is, what is your go-to meal before a big tennis match? or a tournament. So I'll answer this firstly. I'll normally try and eat lots of carbs, protein, especially in general, because it takes about two hours to digest and for the, all the energy to like, release when you're playing. But also before matches, sometimes I won't eat anything. I like to eat stuff in the match, to nibble on stuff, but like an isotonic drink and then like a bar, just to keep me refueling in the match. Like, what do you eat this Um, Probably white pasta, because it has quick release and brown. I drink um, electrolyte drink, so after long hours of play, I get my minerals back. Um, and same as Felix, probably white pasta and just maybe a bar in the match, just to, or banana, just to keep me refueling. refueling. Right, third question from Cam underscore JT21. If you could play a match against any ATP or WTA player in the world, comma, who would it be? Question mark. For women's, I think Corey Goff. Um, obviously, she's young, she's up and coming. No one knows what to expect from her in future years. Um, I think she's going to be absolutely amazing. She's probably going to be the next Serena. But I would just love to play her. It will be really exciting and interesting. And for men's, I would probably play my favourite player, Dustin Brown. He's German, I'm German. He has a really interesting game. You know, lots of volleys, lots of hands. Um, and I just like his personality. Do you think that you get any points with them? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Who do you think you'd have a bigger chance against? Well, I wouldn't have uh, much chance against either of them, but probably Dustin, because yeah. he kind of toys. So for WTA, I think I'd probably want to play against it's a tough one because I'd like to play someone who plays like in a fun, more of a way. Or other. So instead of like Serena, like Serena or Halep, who play like very consistently from the back, big shots, find maybe a bit boring. So I think maybe boring. Or boy to play against almost because they'll make every single ball so consistently. And it's not like, boring. It's tough. Yeah, I, of course it's tough. But I'm, if I were to play against one of them, I wouldn't. I'd obviously play to win, but I'd also play for an experience. Yes. Yeah, and if I'm playing maybe Halep on centre court, it's going to be a bit tough to you know Have get anything going. So yeah. I think I think I also go for Goff. She lost to Halep recently at Wimbledon. I think she'd be very interesting to play against. I'm obviously one year older than her, um, so I just like to see where her levels at. She's very big um, for a girl, um, which is something you mean like early development. Yeah, so very muscular as a physique. She'd also like to play against and. For a player, like a men's player, ATP, I think I'd like to play against. It's a tough one. I think I'd like to play against Monfils. Oh, he's yeah. an absolute monster on the court. He's super quick. I'd like to see how quick he actually is. Playing against him, so how much my shots have to would impact him. That would be quite interesting to see. Hopefully, in the future, <laughs> we will be doing that. So the next que so the next question is from underscore Felix Podling. Um, how do you keep your nerve before big matches? So personally, um, I just try and think of it's the same court that you're playing on. Um, obviously, you've played tennis before, so you're playing on the same line, same court. Um, and I just feel like, just don't think about where you are and what player you're playing against. Just think maybe you're in a practice session against your coach and your coach is just playing against you. 
and you're just on the same court, so you'll feel a lot less nervous. Try not to think about the situation. I know it's hard, but just try not to. So the way I keep my nerve, <laughs> I might try and distract myself. So maybe eating something, obviously not too much. I don't want to be like a rock on the court. Um, but I maybe like to eat something, maybe not go on my phone, maybe do a few warm-up drills, play a game, maybe some chess, read a book. Whatever it is just to distract myself. <laughs> Whatever it is to distract myself from the match. And then go on there, nothing to lose. Every single match, just try my absolute best, and that's all you can really ask for. Next one is from Cam's underscore tennis. He says, "How many hours do you train?" Sorry, I read the question wrong. How many hours training do you each do? Thumbs up emoji, tennis ball emoji. Well, obviously it's summer now, so I'm thinking about school. Without S and C, ten hours a week. Yeah, so I'm going to go through this in my head. I do about. Yeah, about 12 hours without strength and conditioning. And strength and conditioning I'll do on top at home whenever I have time. I think it's also very important to do strength and conditioning. I do strength and conditioning with Daz Drake, my SSC coach. I think it's very important. I think my game's almost been transformed just by being a lot bigger. But last year I had my... Um, bigger. Physically bigger and stronger. I think last year I had my toe injury and the whole summer oh, yeah. I didn't do any sport. And after I came back in September, was so hard but like to be behind everyone else physically. That's a bit like the same as me. I had a hamstring injury for probably six weeks, yeah. so I missed like most of the summer. But it's also good now because I have no points to defend. Yeah, that's one of so, the good things. Yeah. So in the UK you get 12 point scores, six for singles, six for doubles, and they renew it every single year. So if you don't, it's like, almost like the ATP, but you only get six for singles and doubles. So this summer I have none to defend because I kind of didn't play last summer. So yeah, no pressure, just go out and play the best. Right, so next question is from Bosa3DA. If you're forced to watch a play just one player for the rest of your life, which player would you choose? So wait, let's just to clarify, this could be any tennis player, men's, women's, could even be a coach at your local tennis club. Doesn't matter who it is, who would you choose? Well, obviously I think it has to be someone interesting to watch. I think I would watch a youngster because when he, obviously for the rest of my life, so that means if I watch Federer in like four years, he might not be able to play at his game, top of his game. So obviously a youngster, um, I think maybe Zverev because actually uh, it's hard. Zverev. Yeah, I'll go for Zverev. I thought you, when you said youngster, I thought you were going to say me. Um, well, I, I'd like to watch you for the rest of your life, seeing that you're my brother, and I wouldn't be able to not watch you. And if, especially if you go on to play some big tournaments, I'd like to support you <laughs> and watch you. So it's a shame you didn't pick me, but oh well. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can take some of our feedback into your matches and how you look at the tennis world so make sure to like and subscribe and turn bell notifications on to not miss another video and we'll see you next time bye Peace. bye